I want to show you something, and then I want to talk about it. I want you to pay attention to the geometry of this plant, the spirals, the shapes that you see in between all of the little bumps on this cactus. This is an example of a plant that grows and shows the golden ratio or what's sometimes called a Fibonacci sequence. And it's pretty pronounced in some plants, but in other plants, while it might be there, it's a little bit harder to identify. Now what causes this is that as the plant's growing, when it's going to put on a new leaf, it pretty much has to decide which direction is this leaf going to go as it comes out of the main stem. So will the new leaf go this way or will it go that way or this way? It looks like this one's already made up its mind and it's going to come back this direction towards me. And that's because this type of geometry actually makes for a very efficient way to capture sunlight so that the plant can get as much energy as possible from the sun. So I want you to try to look at the base of these leaves as we look down the main stem, and you'll see that they don't line up exactly together. They're all a little bit offset from the one above them or below them. And that's because if this leaf would have come out directly on top of the other leaf, it would be shading it so that way this leaf could no longer catch sunlight. So the plants do this so that way the new leaves aren't covering up all of the hard work they have in those older leaves. And then as a whole, this plant is able to catch a lot of sunlight because it's got an optimal leaf pattern that's going to spread out and allow the sun to catch it from different angles. And as you start to pay attention to all kinds of different plants, you'll start to see this pattern emerging all over the world. And that's just another fun and awesome thing about plants.